You know what? You win, Bandai. But if I'm honest, the way it's animated and illustrated, it deserves to be metallic. Um, totally not me trying to vindicate myself of spending more than what the high grade destroyer would cost for this guy. Um, absolutely not. <laughs> What is going on guys, MJ2005 Gundam here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the high-grade Gundam Amazing Barbatos Lupus from Gundam Build Metaverse. Displayed alongside the Desert Type Command Quanta in the Gundam Metaverse lobby, Majin Kawaguchi built up with the intention of pushing the Barbatos' ferocity to the maximum. And this version was the result of his collaborative efforts with a certain idol group for being touched by their efforts of promoting Gunpla. As the intro implied, this is the metallic version that came with the Linkle Planet Days of Birth box set. So besides the kit, you'd get the CD with songs and Blu-ray music videos for the following tracklist, and a print for the big box art that came outside of the box. Moving on to the kit itself, besides the unique box art and decal sheets for the different Linkle Planet logos, the rest is what you will get in a standard kit, including the 11 runners, wire, sticker sheet, and spruitus base. And if you've built the original Barbatos Lupus before, or any Gundam frame for that matter, the body of this kit will feel largely similar. In fact, despite there being 7 new runners to this release, they're mostly for making up the new backpack and weapons. Speaking of which, the new booster is quite intuitively engineered as well being free from seam lines and possessing decent gate placement. Though, needless to say, the metallic injection finish and lack of undergates works against this particular kit, so expect to see some ugly nubs here and there. Overall, while the build hasn't changed much, it's still easy to complete in a timely manner. And it's also worth noting that the instructions are tailored to this metallic version for whatever reason. So the links to the official Bandai manual and any changes made to the retail version will be in the pinned comment whenever they release. A completed assembly will result in a decent representation of the amazing Barbatos Lupus, or what Majin considered to be the Barbatos 8th form. Since only the V-fin, collar, shoulder pads, and backpack are changed, the proportions are largely carried over from the original kit, and as a result, the accuracy is maintained while the ferocity is slightly enhanced. Stickers are used on the eyes, collar, inside the exhaust and thruster of the waist boosters, the blue on the thighs, and the power buttons on the knees, with the red section in a matching metallic finish. Speaking of the metallic, while I'm not one for special finished kits, I still stand by the opinion that it reflects the illustrations and animation better than the flat version based on the CG renders, regardless of its ham-fisted canonicity. Though that does come at the cost of having some rather jarring nut marks scattered throughout the body if you look closely enough. That being said, the seam lines on the forearms and side skirts are carried over, but beyond that and a bit of panel lining, the kit needs no extra work as there is no missing paint jobs you need to paint in for accuracy. Though that's largely due to the design removing most of the problematic color separation instead of improvements on the engineering. Regardless, the straight build presentation is great, while further touch-ups are mostly optional. Articulation-wise, the head is on the flexible double ball joint, the shoulders are on ball joints, while the shoulder armor and panel can move up independently to make way for the socket and arms to raise up. There's a bicep swivel, single jointed elbows, and ball jointed wrists. There's a bar at the torso that is restricted by the backpack, along with a waist roll and rotation. Front skirts and side boosters can move, while the latter can also rotate on two axes. There's a pelvic swivel, full front kicks, and side splits. The thighs can swivel, the knees are double jointed, and there are ball jointed ankles with a dedicated tilt, and a toe bend accommodated by the moving ankle piece. Articulation is basically the same as the original Barbatos Lupus, though the shoulders, hips, and feet feel quite flimsy either inherently or because of the metallic finish, while the overall structure will start to loosen up due to extensive handling. The waist is fine though, Onto accessories and the pairs of standard and angled holding hands have been carried over. These are for use with its only handheld weapon, the Amazing Mace. It sandwiches into the hands for use for bashing people's skulls in, or for using the auto cannons from rotating the head and folding out the foregrip. And while the detriment of having a circular handle still remains, holding it by the shorter section mitigates the issue slightly. The party piece though is the Amazing Booster Tenchiki, basically a baby Hashmal. Stickers are used for the sensor and beam emitter, and while it's not the most visually appealing thing ever, there aren't any further missing paint apps, and it's somehow rather cute. It does also feature some ball joints and bends for all of its parts for articulation as well.
For docking, the wings collapse and lock into place, the neck folds back, while the head tilts forward, before the booster plugs onto the back of the Gundam to form the Daiku form, literally meaning the red form while being a pun of Barbato's ninth form. And what can I say? I do like how it completes the look by giving it wings, and enhancing its shelf presence. Though its sheer size and mass will give its noodle frame weight issues on the ground, and it's so heavy that not even the provided action base can reliably mitigate that. As it is, the booster provides the units with extra mobility and the amazing mace with a cross-shaped hull for storage. Though, there is another way to combine them. Undock and disassemble the booster, discard the claws, unfold the mech, then extend and reposition the wings and clamps. Next, the booster receives and clamps onto the mace in auto cannon mode, and the head just plugs on top. By using the included action base as support, you'll have the amazing Iron Blood, a massive catapult type composite weapon that can utilize a beam cannon or electromagnetically charge up and fire itself off like a dying slave. Finally, from the red form, the claws detach from the backpack before reassembling onto the arms. Then the wings fold back, extend and lock before folding down. This results in the Daiju form, literally meaning the beast form while being a pun for Barbato's 10th form, essentially incorporating the capabilities of the Lupus Rex into the kit. The claws have some minor dexterity and a rotation, while the super hard wire blade can be launched off by directly attaching a wire to the port and tail. Said to be a last resort with a high energy consumption, this is probably my favorite form of the set, but it has the worst stability out of the many forms as the arms sag from the increased length, and the wire parts just refuse to hold on at all. On a more positive note, not only is the booster connected with the HGIBO backpack standard so that others of the line can also use it, it also means that the Barbatoris' adapters will come in handy for using it on your own Universal Standard custom builds as well. Leftovers include the original action base extension adapter and everything to revert it back to the standard Barbatos Lupus except in red and dark blue. Not sure why you would do that, but I guess it does allow you to mix and match or steal parts for your custom Gundam frame. I don't know where to even begin with this kit as I'm not sure to what extent the metallic molding affected the handling. Needless to say, you should avoid this particular one, but I don't think it fares much better on a more general note either. In essence, it's basically the Barbatos Lupus Hash Mouth Fusion made official with a bunch of gimmicks to give it that belt fighter's flair, and I'd say that the kit delivers on the visuals and play options really well. However, none of that means anything when the core quality issues remains unresolved, especially when the main attractions of the amazing Barbatos Lupus revolve around heavy weapons. You'll need a larger action base to ensure stability, and even then, it's still a nightmare to pose. Sure, the customization potential and leftover parts are nice, while the baby Hashmal is a cute little buddy that won't try to kill you, but in the end, I think the high-grade Amazing Barbatos Lupus is an amazing kit. Amazingly poor. And that's all for me. Thank you for watching, drop a like and comment if you did enjoy the video, subscribe for more content like this, and feel free to follow me on social media with the links down below. That said, take it easy, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out guys, Bye bye